Good morning, it's a beautiful day to be alive. Welcome back to Witness. Witness. I'm so excited for today's video. I recently, this year, discovered Trader Joe's. And by discovered, I mean I finally was brave enough to start going shopping there. Whew. My arm hurts. Oh, You know what that means? Had a good shoulder workout last night. So today I thought it would be fun to go to Trader Joe's, pick up some of their Christmas treats because every season they just are, have so many festive treats. Next year I'll do pumpkin spice. This year we're doing Christmas treats. All the festive treats that they have, I'm gonna get. I hope you guys are excited. I will see you at Trader Joe's. We're gonna do a haul, a taste test of all the festive treats. Whoa, yes. Okay, I'll see you at Trader Joe's. <laughs> Those? Yes. I don't need a taste test. I already love them. Right here. Right here. That's too much effort. Okay? Just add egg, add butter, egg, and water to the whole little kit. A cookie kit. Cookie kit. Two dollars. Two dollars for all of that. This isn't anything revolutionary, but I do. gotta do this. It's like Thin Mints, but in star form. Oh, she festive. This, I'm gonna put a little candle in that, you know? This one's kind well. of more appealing. It's the last one. Oh, for me. Favorite, but they only get one a week. I'm not trying to be dramatic here, but I have the world's greatest cashier. He put all my goodies in this. One whole bag. Can you believe that? I was shocked. I couldn't believe it. I guess, to be fair, my gingerbread house kit wasn't in the bag, but A plus for effort. I was expecting Trader Joe's to have maybe like a few Christmas treats. I wasn't expecting them to have a million Christmas treats. I picked out a lot of ones that I think I'm going to like. They had a whole lot of dark chocolate. And I don't know if I've told you guys this before, but I don't love dark chocolate. It's my least favorite kind of chocolate. Give me white and milk chocolate all day long. Dark chocolate and I, we're not really friends. I picked up some very miscellaneous items like this little baby this is so cute as a little centerpiece. I'll put a candle in it or something cute like that. And it's real. Mmm, smells delicious. So, I'll be honest with you. I bought one before I went to the UK a couple weeks ago and it died. I didn't know you had to spray it with a water bottle every other day. So, now that I know, it won't happen again. I love to hang them in my windows. I'll show you that in my Christmas house tour. Coming soon for a witness. Yeah. I got this gingerbread house kit. What? Ooh, wow. This is so stinking cute. I thought this would be fun. I never prepare this early. I never get one of these early. I'm excited. You know, I just really thought this would be fun for me, Stefan, and the pups to do together as a family. Although I am a perfectionist, so I'll probably do the whole thing myself. I'm not very good at making gingerbread houses. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is their peppermint bark popcorn. Look at the packaging. That's so cute. Mmm, oh, 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 these smell good, okay? Oh, oh, oh yeah, that's delicious. I wish you guys could have some. Phenomenal. So yeah, popcorn covered with peppermint, but then there's caramel in it. Yep. A solid 10 out of 10 right here. This one, nobody's touching, but don't go near it, okay? Okay? Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm not really an Oreo type of gal. I've gone through phases where I love them and then I don't love them. Right now I don't really, I don't think about them. It's not the sweet that I crave. Trader Joe's has JoJo's, which to me are the epitome of an Oreo. These are candy cane JoJo's. Delicioso. I'm about to watch myself with these, I'll be honest. Oreos is one of those treats where you have one and you love it and then all of a sudden, the whole row of Oreos is gone. Okay. Oh, Woo. oh that's good. Oh, that is good. Very minty. Woo. 11 out of 10. I'm hiding this one. Nobody else can have it. My brother can't have it. Stefan can't have it. The dogs can't have it. This shouldn't say JoJo's. This should say Whitney. Are you going to be in this whole video or what? You're not getting any of this food. Delicious. 
delicious. Listen, Linda, my favorite protein bars, I have a few of them, but my favorite are Power Crunch bars. This isn't a new flavor, but this is new packaging, and I guess that's what sold me. This is a Power Crunch protein energy bar in the flavor vanilla. So good. If you guys haven't tried Power Crunch bars, Delicious. I would say the only thing that uh, kind of annoys me about these is I never get full. Like, it's not a hearty snack. It's a very airy snack because it's like a wafer. One bar is 200 calories, 13 grams of fat, eight carbs, 14 protein. So it's kind of like a fake protein bar because most protein bars have 20 to 25 grams of protein. Has a little bit less, but I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. This one tastes the best. I got these knowing that I was going to love them. These are the peppermint pretzel slims. As you can see, I'm a peppermint type of gal. Dark chocolate and I might not be friends, but peppermint and I, oh. My favorite little Hershey Kisses are the candy cane ones. So I kind of cheated getting this one because I don't really need to taste test it to know that it's gonna be fantastic. Look at that. Our thin crunchy pretzel slims with a creamy coating and peppermint sprinkles. This is another one that gets me in trouble. I go in thinking I'll eat one, half the bag will be gone. Chocolate covered pretzels are phenomenal. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. You're missing out, girl. I have to rate this one about 12 out of 10. I love pretzels. I'm so excited about this. I love eggnog okay i've been a fan since i was a small child a young one every december my dad would pour me a nice tall glass of eggnog and we would drink that yummy deliciousness together but i've completely switched off of dairy milk and now i drink all purely either oat or almond milk so i thought maybe my hopes and dreams of drinking eggnog were over I was wrong. This is almond nog, almond nog. It's here, it's a thing. Made with rich almonds, this smooth, creamy drink is perfect for the holidays. Egg-free, lactose and dairy-free, gluten-free, soy-free, and this is a vegan item. Stefan doesn't like uh, eggnog, so I don't have to worry about getting a cup, okay? Okay, and I know my brother's not gonna drink this, you know? Mm, I'll be honest here. It's not as good as eggnog. It's fine. Yeah, you know, not my favorite. Eggnog, may you rest in peace, I miss you, sweetie. Cause this doesn't compare. It has the same spices as eggnog, but it's just, it's not there. Ali said that these were phenomenal. These are the salt, honey, coffee, milk, chocolate covered crackers. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, these sound pretty good. You don't really get a lot in here, so. That's disappointing. Na, 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 na. What attracted me about these is that they're milk chocolate, not dark. They're fine. And this is something my brother can have. Not my favorite. This was stinking cute. Oh, that's cute. This is a cookie mix in a jar. So it's layers of sugar, brown sugar, peanut butter chips, candy coated chocolate, oats and coffee, graham cracker crumbs and flour. So you have to add your final ingredients and then you can just whip this up and make some delicioso cookies. So fun, I've never seen anything like it. And how easy is that? If I have guests over, I can just, one moment everyone, serve. How easy is that? So cute. Even if you don't make it and you want it on display, like Christmas in a jar, okay? Oh, 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 not a food item, not a food item, but I thought this was so cute. Trader Joe's has like a little gift section and that's where I found this. It is the Trader Joe's White Pine Moisturizing Hand Soap and Hand Lotion. And it comes with a cute little carrier. I think this was maybe $3. Trader Joe's, dealing and stealing, okay? I'll put this in my bathroom and it'll be Christmas. Oh, that's good. That is delicious. Come on over. Use my hand soap. Love it. So fun. Ali forgot this. This is the cocoa peppermint flavored almond creamer. I don't drink coffee, so she needs to come over and get this. I bet it's delicious though because of the peppermint. <laughs> this is Navy and Indigo's favorite treat. They're always sold out at Trader Joe's. All the dogs are up in Trader Joe's taking all the chicken breast strips. My chicken breast. Okay, I know. You haven't had these in so long, huh? All the other dogs were stealing them. Can I get sit? Can you sit? Good sit, good boy. Good girl. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going, Navy? Oh, is that good? 
Is that good, Navy? This was not a Christmas treat, but I followed this Trader Joe's Instagram page and they posted about how delicioso this is. It's a new item from Trader Joe's. It's their black truffle Alfredo pasta sauce. That sounds good. Apparently, you know, rumor on the street is that this was imported from Italy. I still love that protein pasta that I've talked about a million and 10 times. I love that, so one night, you know, Listen, 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 Linda. I know that this is nothing crazy, but I had to have it. <laughs> These are the Trader Joe's cheesy trees, like goldfish, but in the shape of a tree. Oh, oh no. This is not good, Indigo. Mine are not in the shapes of trees, okay? Mine are completely broken, so that just ruined Christmas. There's not one Christmas tree intact in here. Mm, yeah, they're no goldfish and they all broke so I'm gonna have to tell you guys To skip on this one if you see it just think of the devastation on my face. This was another one I didn't need I'm really in a soup mode lately, and I don't like soup like when the winter comes I don't think about soup I don't want soup because soup to me is not a meal when people have soup as a meal. I'm like what? Aren't you still starving? Well, let me tell you something. I've been having a whole lot of chicken noodle soup lately. The older I get, the more I realize I'm a changed woman. I saw these creamy tomato soup seasoned crackers. Brown rice and oat cracker seasoned with creamy tomato soup seasoning blend. I mean, you can't tell me that that doesn't sound delicious. I don't think this is a Christmas item. I just think I've never seen this before. Ugh. Oh, they're good, they're good, they're good. They don't smell good, but they taste good. They're not the best cracker I've ever had, but they're not bad. This one was on a huge display, so this must be like a hot commodity because half of the display was gone. These are mini dark chocolate mint stars. This is the only dark chocolate treat that I got. Oh, that's so cute. I never eat this many snacks. Whew. I should have known better. I'm not a chocolate gal. That was my mistake. These are mini gingerbread men. Gingerbread cookies with white fudge icing. You see, this is what I want to see. All these gingerbread men are still in one piece. Look how cute this is. Oh, that's cute. Delicious. Yeah, gum. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is a nice treat to put in a bowl for your guests. Have it on your Christmas table. The ginger is very strong. It's not my favorite. It's not my least favorite. The mini gingerbread men are definitely better than the dark chocolate mint stars. Unless you like dark chocolate, but I can't relate. Very last item, the peppermint meringues. Honestly, am I saying that right or am I not? These are very light and airy. You know when something's very airy and it doesn't have a lot of taste to it? I don't think these have taste to it except for the little peppermint bits on the outside. They're not bad. They're not bad by any means, okay? Four of these cookies is 80 calories. I don't think four of these cookies is worth 80 calories. You know, maybe this would be another treat to put in a bowl and leave out for your guests. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and never forget to Subscribe so you never miss a fit tip with wit again, aka another wit miss video, okay? Don't miss that. Don't miss a wit miss, yeah. Oh, my belly kind of hurts from all those treats, I'll be honest. I miss the days when I was young and I could eat whatever the heck and bob I wanted. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. It is now time for our daily giveaway. Da -da -da -da. I hated that. Okay. <laughs> Today's giveaway is brought to you by FabFitFun. You guys know I have worked with this company for a very long time now. I love them. I love their product. So a huge thank you to FabFitFun. There will be three winners winning the FabFitFun box. No I just, way! Yeah. Three. Three? The whole box. FabFitFun's incredible! <laughs> I think the value of this box was what, like $200? Two something? $600 in total giveaway? <laughs> Let me find the value. Yeah. Alright, the value of this box was $290 to $335. Three of you guys are going to win this. I just did an unboxing just a few videos ago if you want to see what comes in this box. All you have to do to enter is give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and while you're at it, turn on my post notifications, the little ding ding. It's like $900 in giveaways. Okay, thank you, Stefan. Follow your girl on Instagram. And lastly, I want you to leave me one comment below telling 
telling me another reason why it is a beautiful day to be alive. I love you guys. Don't forget to enter the giveaway below. All the details will be down there. I love you. Thank you so much for watching this video. And until next time, I will see you next time, which is tomorrow. Because witness is going strong. Navy, come here. You want to say bye? You say bye? You say bye-bye? See you for witness tomorrow.